What's up everybody, Tony Beats Guy here, back again with another video, and this is gonna be a little bit different. You probably see it by the title. Um, we're gonna talk. And we just kind of have to talk about some things that are that are kind of going on here. Um, as you may have noticed, uh, you know, this channel is, is, is taking a lot of turns, right? I've started in May 27, 2010, I started uploading Call of Duty videos, and uh, eventually I played SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. That really took off for me. Then I stuck to WWE, and ever since then, that's what I've been doing is WWE and uh, video game stuff here and there, but mostly just the WWE stuff, the gaming and uh, news and rumors and reactions, preview stuff like that. That's what I'm known for. Um, but recently, like, so in 20... 2019, I decided I really want to make a go at this. I want to make this thing explode because since 2010, I've only racked up uh, 234,000 subscribers. And you may think, oh, that's that's a pretty good number, but it's not a million. It's not where I should be for the length that I've been on YouTube. It's not where I should be. Uh, I do have 91 million views, which is insane. I can't even think how insane that is that 91 million views have been seen on this channel, but I'm a number guy. And if I see this number and the views and the comments and subscribers and all that isn't going up at a rapid rate, then I know there's something wrong. And I've been feeling this way for a while. That's why at the beginning of the year, I was like, this is my year. I'm going to crush it. I'm going to do what I'm doing. And then it's this past week. It just hit me like this past week for some reason maybe like the past two weeks, I've sat down to record and I don't know what to record. And I don't like anything that I do record and I end up just deleting what I did record. And I, I'm, not, I'm just not satisfied with the content that's going up on YouTube. Now I do Twitch and I stream there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday nights, 7 p.m. and Saturdays at noon. And I really enjoy that. I think if I could make a full-time Twitch thing, that would be amazing, and I would love to do that. However, it's still in the growing process. I'm still new at Twitch. Seems like every day is a struggle on Twitch as well, trying to get that to grow, but that's how you do it on Twitch is you go live, you play those games, you do the interaction with the audience, and I actually love it. It's cool to see the same people come out to the streams all the time, and I get tweets all the time uh, on Twitter saying, when you go live, I wanna watch your stream. So. That is just like the coolest thing ever. And that's like that one thing that I really love is my Twitch. And I've also been starting to do some podcasts over on iTunes, Android, Spotify with uh, anchor.fm. And I really love doing that. And of course, I'm still new in that stage. So I have to grow that as well. But I really love doing the podcast. I love listening to podcasts. I love recording podcasts. Um, and this audio podcast thing is something that I want to do. So I'm going to continue to do that expect awesome content over there all the time. But when it comes to the YouTube thing, it's just, it's at that point where I'm like, I feel like I've done pretty much everything that I could possibly do in the wrestling genre. I've done news and rumors. I've done gameplay from games. I've done reactions. I've done live streams on pay-per-views, watch parties. And it's just, a, it's just at the point where I just don't know anymore. It's like I'm in a rut. It's like I'm in a rut. It's like, I don't think that I have, I don't think that I'm depressed, right? I don't think that I'm depressed, but I feel like I have sad feelings coming onto the YouTube channel. And that's not a good thing. Here's the thing. I have an amazing wife who I love to death. I'm in love with. She's my soulmate. I have an amazing, beautiful daughter. And she's like my world. I'm a stay at home dad and I take care of her. And it's like, I love taking care of her. She is my world all day. I get to spend with her and my wife is jealous every time. And I'm grateful that I get to spend every moment with her right now. She's taking a nap. So I have to wake her up in 15 minutes and feed her and then go on with my day. But honestly, it's, it's, it's coming down to a thing where I just like, I'm in a rut. It's like, I have no idea what kind of content to make. And it's like, I know that I want to put out content. 
Like I'm, I'm so proud of the what went wrong series and the devil's advocate series. Those are two series that I'm really, really proud of. And I'm so glad that I have an editor that can help me edit those videos and let me spend time with my daughter. And then when it's time for those, I will get those done and send those over. Um, so those are two series that you can pretty much expect on this channel is the what went wrong and the devil's advocate. Those are two really good. If you've never seen them, feel free to check them out. I have playlists available. Uh, but then it just comes to like, man, what do I do? What do I do? I'm just like so exhausted. I've like this feeling like I'm always tired. I'm rocking like a 24 hour headache. And it's just to the point where it's like, I throw my hands up. I don't know what to do right now. I don't know what to do right now. My love for WWE has gone down. I will tell you that. That's 100%. I love watching the pay-per-views and I love watching NXT takeovers and I love, you know, watching WWE documentaries and stuff like that. I go back on the network and watch old stuff all the time. But when it comes to watching three hours of Raw and then two hours of SmackDown and then NXT UK and then NXT and then main event and then all the rest of the wrestling, Impact Wrestling and all that, it just gets to me. It just gets to me. I love professional wrestling. I love what they're doing with AEW, but WWE is just not exciting me. Besides Becky Lynch and her program and Daniel Bryan probably and his stuff, it's just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Kofi Kingston is exciting. Mustafa Ali is exciting me. It's just the rest of the program just is, is killing me. It's like all I really want to watch is the pay-per-views, catch up on the stories that were going on, and watch the uh, takeovers as well. So I don't know. I've been doing this since 2010. I've had a lot of transitions in here, and I feel like this is like a moment where I need to decide where the future of this channel goes. I need to break off and try something new. Like honestly, I've been uploading videos like on a daily basis, sometimes two a day, sometimes three. I've done like that forever. And yeah, I'm not that consistent as I used to be. Sometimes I used to have like two or three videos a day and just go hard and grind. And that's the thing. When it's, when it's the channel that I'm doing, I have to continue to push out content. Here's the problem though. I always feel like I'm wasting my time doing something that I shouldn't be doing. So I want to grow my Twitch. I really do. I'm really excited about Twitch streaming. And that's something that I really... And passionate about is Twitch streaming. But then when I'm doing that, I'm like, oh, I should be making a YouTube video. And then I'm making a YouTube video. I'm like, oh, I should be doing a podcast. When I'm doing a podcast, I'm like, oh, I should be tweeting. Oh, I should be promoting. Oh, I should be sending out emails to companies to get brand deals. What do I do? There's never enough time in the day. And majority of my time is spent with my daughter. And I love that. And I'm grateful for that. My wife is jealous if I didn't already say that, that I get to spend so much time with her every day. And it's an amazing feeling that I have this wonderful, beautiful daughter of mine. And you think I shouldn't be depressed or anything. I have an amazing wife and amazing daughter, but there's just this other segment of me that just is unhappy. It's like 75% of my life is complete. My daughter, my wife, my family life is amazing. But then there's like that 25% of YouTube. It's just like, what do I do? Where do I go? And I know you're probably thinking you have the greatest job in the world. You can just upload YouTube videos and you're great. Just hit record and upload a video. It's not simple like that. You constantly have to watch the numbers. And if the numbers aren't there, like they're not, then you have to think, what do I do? WWE Supercard made my channel grow. WWE Games made my channel grow. But it comes to a point where I can only play W2K19 so much. It comes to a point where I can only play so much Supercard. I devoted so much time into Supercard to the point where I got burned out. And I just took a break from Supercard. And I'm feeling that again where it's like the overall experience of the game. I love the game, right? I've played it so much. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I really don't. 
I just have like a feeling. And I, I hope there's other people out there that can comment on this that make YouTube videos or content creators or whatever they are. It's just like you, you get to a point and you're like, what do I do? What am I, what am, what is my, what is my process here? How do I do this? And where do I go? What do I, what do I, and that's the thing. It's like, I want to be able to come into this room because this room is separate from my whole house. When I'm done, shut the door, go out. I want to be able to come into this room and have a clear vision of where I want to go, the process I want to take this and where I want this channel to grow. And I just don't have that right now. I've been brainstorming. I've been writing like 10,000 drafts of videos that I want to do and things that I want to do. And it's, it's awesome. I love doing that, but it's like, I just like, it's like if I write it down on a piece of paper, I'll crumple it up and throw it in the corner and I have no idea what to do. It's in the trash bin. I don't know what to do. And it's just a rut. It's like 25% of my life is incomplete. It's because A, I have to put out videos because if I don't put out videos, nobody watches. I don't make any money. I can't pay the bills. And then there goes the passion because then it gets to the numbers, the money, all that stuff. And now I just, I just feel like I'm rambling again because it's an ever growing thing that's eating me on the inside. I feel like I'm at a point where I need to shift the channel from what I'm currently doing and make it completely different. But there's that huge risk. It's like, if I take it the wrong direction, it's going to fail. And then I'm just out. And if I take it the right, right direction, I could blow up and it could be huge. But it's that stage in between where you're not sure what the right path is and where to go and how to make it work. That's what I'm at. See, my ultimate plan was to upload at least one gameplay a day. So I'd sit down, record a bunch of gameplay, get that edited and put it up one, one gameplay a day, and then have a video, one video a day. That would be whatever I want to make, whatever I'm feeling that day, brainstorm, do all that. I feel like I haven't been able to brainstorm. I haven't been able to like creatively satisfied with making videos. I remember back in the day, I used to plan out storylines, plan out video making process. Like I'm a director and editor, filmer, producer, all that. I don't do that anymore. I sit down and play Supercard or I'll sit down and record this or I'll talk about news or whatever. But there's no like creative process that really goes into this. It's just turn on the camera, hit record and go. And that's the one thing that I'm lacking right now is, is just a creative angle. So I don't know if anybody has any help they can help me with or tips or tricks or something to get me out of my own head here. It's like I have so many people that are succeeding in, around me, like fellow creators that are doing great things and succeeding. And I see that and I just get jealous. And I'm just like, why am I not in his shoes? And that's not a good quality to have at all. It's not a good quality at all. Because the people that are succeeding are working hard at what they do. They're out there grinding, doing what they're supposed to be doing, and making it. And that's the thing. I'm just at this point where I'm like, man, I wish I was that guy. Wish I had a clear vision of what to do. Maybe they don't even know what they're doing. Maybe it's just happening. Maybe it's just all luck. I don't know. Since 2010, I've been doing this. I feel like I'm at a point of like, it's time to do it. Or it's time to pack up and move on. Go out to greener pastures. Do something else. I don't know. I'm going to take you guys' feedback. If you guys got any feedback, let me know. I'm curious to know what you guys' uh, thoughts are. Let me know. I'm seriously looking to completely change this, rebrand this, make this something that's going to work instead of keep doing the same thing that's not working. It's an evaluation time, and I'm going to take that time to evaluate it and figure out where to go from here. Hopefully, you guys can provide me with some good criticism, comments, stuff like that. And uh, we can move forward after that. So I don't know. We'll see where this takes us. But the interesting part is that I can be super transparent like this and talk to you guys and tell you how I feel. And uh, maybe somebody's in the same boat as I am. 
and are at the point where they're just like, man, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I love doing YouTube. I would not have it any other way. It's the greatest job ever. Being able to record videos and share my stories with you. That's what I'm super passionate about. I love being creative. If I can be creative, then I'll be creatively satisfied. And that 25% of depression that I have in my life will go away. But until then, we'll figure it out. We'll see where this goes. And uh, I'll catch you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.